2017. Yes. It's a year that is almost done, and we're about to enter 2018. Mm -hmm. And so I was thinking about what I want to do in 2018 and what I'm excited about. And I thought I would let you ask me questions about one thing that I'm excited about in two minutes. Two minutes. OK, go. The import function. OK, it's, so, it's a function. Well, technically, no, but that's a difference. What? Thing. You've already lied to me in one of the words you I just said. I know. Okay. So we have static imports in JavaScript. Yes, we do, we in, mod in modules specifically. In modules. So we say right. import okay. blah, blah, blah from blah, 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 and then you get a module, and you can use it. Yes. Great. But sometimes you don't want to do it at the start. Right, because right now, all of your modules have to, all your imported modules have to download before any of them run. Yeah, yeah exactly. And sometimes okay. you have something like a spinner that you want to use, but you don't really block the execution of your module on loading the spinner, which you're going to use much later or something. OK, so you, you, this idea is this is something that you can defer the loading of. Exactly. So it, Hang on. And you, you would load a spinner this way? What are you going to display while that's loading? <gasps> OK, so maybe not spinners. Maybe not. OK, but like deferred roots or? All, yeah, or whatever kind of modules you want later on. If you a view that it's not, you don't need yet, and later okay. on, you need, then you can load it on demand. And that's where you have now a dynamic import, a little function that works the same as static import, but it's something that you can call in the middle of your code and returns a promise. Ah, OK. And then it resolves with what? What does it resolve with? With the module exports and a special name called default, which is the default the export. Default export. Yeah. Excellent. OK. So this is all of those hacks we currently use to load JavaScript dynamically. Which just go that, away. They go away. And here's a fun fact. It's not a function. It's not a fun Why is it not a function? Because it's syntax. It's that's action. not a good reason. That's just a word. That's no, just I, word. I actually don't know the exact reasoning, but I think they had it as a syntax, not a function. So you can't hack it. You can't overload it and hook your own function. It's supposed to be like a security mechanism, I think. Okay. But it's just an interesting fun fact on the side that really shouldn't affect you in your daily life as a developer at all. Excellent. So can I use this in regular JavaScript or just modules? Just modules, because oh. it is a module. So you need that just makes sense. But I mean, you can just use script type module, and then you have a module, and you can use dynamic import. So and all those hacks just go away. It's going to be a great. You're out of time. The last time I looked, it was 40 seconds left. <laughs> Transform streams. Transform streams is we have readable stream and writable stream. Yes. What so is it? Re transform stream. 